Hello and welcome back to Skybees. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a while since I've, I've made another video. It's like almost three real life days, and uh, I have been uh, farming bees. Let's uh, let's get to it here. I almost have all of the tier two bees. <laughs> Uh, I've shut down all my uh, bee production. I have a little uh, breeding facility, I, I call it. You can, uh, I found out you can leash these things. So I just chain them up and uh, breed them and they look like uh, they're going through depression. <laughs> they can barely do anything. They can't sleep because they're usually going to hive at night. So it's almost like bee torture. But uh, here we go. So this is all of the tier one bees. Uh, the coal, cobblestone, dust, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all the way to zombie. Those are tier one. These are the duplicates I've acquired. Uh, these are normal honeybees. These are the tier two bees. I have all of them but four. And it is literally a random chance. Uh, breeding uh, this, this uh, what is it? Where is it? Breeding one of these guys. Uh, well, and with the gravel and with the sand to get the last four and that's what I got set up over there. I keep getting iron <laughs> instead of prismarine. And uh, what was the other one? I'm getting uh, aluminum over and over again. So it is what it is. Oh, the traitor just popped in. What's he got going on? A beacon for 25 emeralds? Hold on. <laughs> Hold the door. Where's, uh, where's my emeralds? There's emerald. There's all my emeralds. Let's buy the beacon. That'd look kind of cool. Alright, where'd that son of a gun go? Alright, let's buy. Let's buy his beacon. <laughs> let's buy his eye of enders. I don't have any of those. Uh, I don't need any of this other stuff. So that's cool. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, so what I wanted to do today is unleash my bees into this new facility. Uh, so I had, I already tore it down, but I had a, a thing set up so that it was like one block surrounded by other blocks and then the beehive and then a, uh, you can't see them from this angle. These are called mob filters. Uh, they're like doors, but it only lets players in. So I don't have to worry about the bees getting out. There we go. So this is the under underside, right? I have all the different blocks required for everything. But I have uh, item item users under every single hide hive. Uh, and uh, when they uh, they click, they can harvest everything inside the hive. So it works out pretty well. I tested it on low, small scale. And I'm using an item collector to collect everything in this room in a single go. So it should uh, should work out fairly well. Like uh, I can just drop stuff like this and it's downstairs in a box. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Let's just clear out our inventory anyway. Emeralds are kind of useless at this point besides the trader. So let's go ahead and uh, unleash a few bees. Let's do these, this first tier first. These are all tier four beehives that can hold 16 bees each. So we can put a lot of bees in here. Let's do uh, cobblestone. These are all, so all of these first tier ones use the red flower as their food. Let's do a coal, a snowball. I can't remember what that one was for. A zombie one. So um, let's do that. Um, the the sea the sieve one is the one who doesn't do anything. He does not produce anything. Sand. Uh, RGB. Marble. Icy. Gravel. Dust. All right. There we go. We got our first uh, first tier of bees all set, ready to go. Let's grab our second tier bees. And uh, the ones we're missing, I don't even have blocks for yet, so <laughs> that's, that's fine. So Creeper. The Creeper uses the uh, gunpowder sack as his little flower. So you can see he's going to go over there and 
gobble that down. The diamond bee goes to the diamond block. The emerald bee goes to the emerald block. The fluix, uh, he doesn't have a home yet. I can't make that. I can't make that until I get further along. So let's skip him for now. Uh, let's see here, uranium will go to some uranium block. I don't know where he's going right now. I thought I had one. Yeah, there's an uranium block there, so could just because it's night 10. There's a 10 block he should go to. I might move that flower. <laughs> uh, what was this one? Osseum. Uh, I think I have an osseum block down. Pigman goes to the glowstone. Redstone, salt, skeleton. So redstone, go to the redstone block. Salt, go to the salt block. Skeleton, go to the bones. Slime, obsidian, nickel, other quartz. Slime, there's a slime block somewhere in there. So effectively, each of these bees needs its own little custom thing. And I had this, you know, one-to-one -one thing, and I was going to do that, but it was going to be... You know, I think there's 70, let's say 80 uh, bees total. <laughs> so there would have been 80 of these instances, these things. And uh, I didn't think that was going to be very useful at all. Uh, so here we got lapis, goes to the lapis block. Iron to the iron block. Oh, no, we don't want you to go out. So that's the sieve guy. We'll keep him. The only reason I keep him is because he literally does nothing. And glass goes to the glass block somewhere around here. Uh, what was this one? Fluorite? I don't even know what that one's for. Uh, gold. And we got some more. We got aquamarine. I can't do the blaze one yet. I don't have blaze rods for some reason. Uh, there's a quartz bug and copper. I don't think I have copper. This is copper right there. Yeah. There's a copper block, so this one's going crazy. There we go. Well, it looks like that worked out pretty fine. So that is like all of the tier one and tier two bees. <laughs> uh, they're going to be uh, processing and living from now on in this much expanded cage. I had this little, little one over there, and uh, yeah, that was just too small for the amount of bees I had going on. Uh, I do have ender bees, but I do not have the blocks to place them on, so that's unfortunate for that. There we go. Okay, so what did I want to do next? I wanted to... Let's go downstairs. So I've, I've rearranged the whole base. Uh, I guess re removed all the machines and stuff. I was going to build like four of these all on each corner, but then... I realize I can probably fit all the bees inside this one, uh, this one cage. So hopefully that works out. And then if we go down here, so we can take all our, all our stuff out. And this is a bunch of stuff I had had that I did in centrifuge. I took my centrifuge uh, automation stuff down. Uh, there's a new new version I want to make, but I don't know if we can do that yet. So let's drop all these emeralds off. Drop that. And let's just put that in there for now. Okay, let's drop these in there. Okay, so the, I wanted to uh, complete this quest up here, the netherite mesh. So we need to make a smithing table. Oh, what is that? Planks? We don't have planks. And my bag, my, uh, all my boxes are kind of messed up. I don't have, uh, I didn't get everything back in the right chest. So, might be a little bit of scrambling for some stuff. Okay, we got that. And then this is a diamond mesh plus a netherite ignit. And how do you make an netherite ignit? That's a good question, actually. Four scrap and some gold. I know I had uh, seven scrap. It's just a matter of finding it. Sorry. I should have pre planned this. Uh, maybe I actually have it on me. There we go. 
I will just take a uh, random. <laughs> just... Am I? I'm crazy, right? It's in my inventory now. I thought I saw it go flying up. Uh, where? So we need to put the smithing table down. Let's put it uh, other side of here. All right. So we need to put that in there. Plus that, and boom. We completed the ex Nilhio uh, thing. I haven't really been saving that much anymore, so that's uh, <laughs> that is uh, not as not as important as it was once. All right, we completed all that. No reward for that one. I wanted to kind of bust through these uh, drawer ones real quick, so we're gonna let's just mark all these. Let's go over here. So we completed that. We don't need dust. Uh, we got marble. Oh, can we do this one yet? Oh, we need a casing. All right, so let's do some of these. We got a lot of going on here. Uh, we need the templates and obsidian. I have a lot of obsidian. I took my obsidian uh, farm down. And I didn't put it back up. It was just wasting lava. So what I had, I was going churning through lava at an extreme rate. And so I set up these energy cells, so to uh, kind of conserve, not conserve, but uh, store the energy. So we have a, the the furnator filling that up. We have the uh, magmatron magma magmator going, and uh, we have a uh, two storage tanks. And then we have, uh, I don't even know how many this is, this many uh, <laughs> crucibles generating lava. And it uh, seems like I only need one cobble generator for all this. I, I had a cobble generator on top of every single one of them before. Uh, and this is just siphoning off uh, lava to make sky stone from this sky stone dust for later on. Uh, let's see here. And then this power just goes upstairs. All right. Um, we were making something. I get distracted very easily. Er, yeah, okay. We're going to make this thing. So we're here. Uh, yeah, I'm like going through two different, two different things at the same time. We were trying to do the storage upgrade first. Okay, sorry. We're doing that next. I just, I really want to get that one out of my thing. Uh, let's see here. Where are the storage templates? There's four of them. Okay. Storage upgrade. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's favorite all these real quick so we can just plow through them. Uh, then another upgrade. And another, oh, what are we missing? Diamonds. That could actually be a, an actual thing. Because uh, I did not have a diamond. Uh... Oh, yeah, we're out of diamonds. All right, let's see if we've actually harvested some diamonds. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, get all that out of there. <laughs> Got a lot of quests. Quests unlocked. Those are from all our uh, bees. So let's drop. Uh, let's just drop it all in here. All right. So we need to. Uh, you're gonna need to either sift some more or do some uh, quick. Or actually, I can manually do this one real quick. Cause I don't want to set that thing up. <laughs> Actually, let's just do it. Uh, it doesn't require much effort to set up. Just power. Where did I put it? There's that. Oh, okay. great. 64 bottles. Okay, let's go upstairs. I just won't automate, uh, automate it at all. All right, so that's going up there. We can just pop, uh, pop one right there. Pop one right there. That's already full. Drop in uh, 
that plus that. That should work. Okay. So while that's going, go back downstairs. All right, what else do we need here? Drawer key. Made that. Book and quill. Oh, I don't. Do I have sugar cane? Let's go see if we have sugar cane. I'm not sure if I set that up. Maybe I did early on and it's over here. I see sugar cane. There it is. Okay, good. I still need to move those downstairs, but so, uh, so much work. And I don't even know if they're used. I really want to get to a new, uh, a new, um, what you call it? There we go. Got a book, a new, um, storage system, because this one is not that fun. Feather. Oh, we don't have any feathers. Okay, that's... Uh, we're not going to be able to progress that at all. Uh, I, I'm in a, I'm in a, uh, what is this called? It's a desert hills. Yeah, I'm in a desert hills. There's no chickens that spawn. Only, uh, only rabbits. That's the only, that's the only way I was able to get leather. Uh, I'm going to set up a monster farm at some time and I'm going to go off in one of these directions. Looks like deep ocean up that. Oh, there's a savanna up this way. So I might be able to find an alternative uh, thing for that, but that's going to take a while. All right, compacting drawers. We need pistons. Looks like we got that. There we go. Got compacting drawers. Holds 128 stacks per drawer. Okay. Drawer controller slave. Drawer controller, and we need diamond for that. Okay, let's see if our diamond is done. Let's see here. We got five diamonds. Awesome. And I'll just have to let those bees. I have another diamond bee I think I can throw in the, the pen. Generate diamonds faster, actually. All right. Uh... Is it this one? There we go. Got that. So I, I've never done anything with this thing. So let's uh, let's put these down and see what they do. If they need power or something like that, I don't know. I don't know what this one. This one I couldn't put anything in it, so I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what kind of frame that is. All right, so we so let's put the slave down right here. Uh, let's put a compacting drawer right there, and let's put the controller. Right here. Okay. There's no interface to this. Okay, it looks like it can view everything in all of the all of the drawers it has access to. Hmm. Maybe it can connect to this crafting table. If it can, that would be kind of nice until we get something better. Here, I got this crafting table. Uh, let's just drop it like right there. No, I can't see that stuff. Okay. I'm sure there's some way that it works. I just don't know at this point in time. And I'm trying to get through this pack, or not this pack, but this, uh, this thing. So let's go ahead and get the diamond upgrade. We need another template. Trying to get drawers done so we can unlock the next stage. I want to. There's a. There's a bunch of other storage mobs mods that I'd like to try. Okay, we got all of that. All of that. The only thing we didn't get was this one. See labels in the dark. Okay. All right, we got that. 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 
that and that and that. Okay. So I consider this done. Uh we didn't finish it because I can't I don't have a uh I don't have any feathers. So uh we'll have to come back to that one. So we got bees, we got a lot of these checked off. Uh the next thing we're gonna get into is immersive engineering. Because we need steel. Steel is the only way to progress the bees. Uh, to make the multi-block centrifuge, you need steel blocks uh, right here. Blocks of steel in this energizer. So let's uh, let's finish up this energizer thing real quick. That I was kind of doing over time. I need one of these. So this thing is weird. This is a... <laughs> I read the book on this one a few times to try to figure it out, but all right, so bear with me if I'm doing this wrong. So you set these rods like that, and then you set a uh, thing right here, right? And then you can put something in there. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember the book it, where the book is. Uh, here, let's try redstone. You like put redstone in there. Maybe redstone isn't an item. You have to put an item. I think a diamond is one of them. Let's just waste the diamond real quick. Come on. There we go. So, and then this, this laser will start, uh, zapping it, and it takes energy, right? Uh, you can see how much, 300,000 power to do that. Uh, we have, we have a lot of power, I guess, at the moment. I don't know how much we're generating. 100k there. 100k there. So, we're generating 200k, and we have a million, uh, million reserves, and it doesn't look like that's even being touched. So that's going to take forever to do. Uh, you can put multiple t uh, rods on there and make it faster. But there's a whole crafting thing uh, beyond for that. I just need the book to show it. Here is the book. So we go here. Yeah, there's <laughs> that's where I was at, right? Right there. Uh, so you can uh, do that and it'll create. Where is it? Items. Charged, yeah, you can create a charged snowball. Ah, uh, where is it? Yeah, I don't, I don't fully know all the stuff, and that's my fault. But I've never used this mod before. <laughs> I don't even see the or the tower now. Yeah, energizing is where this is, and then. I mean, it doesn't really say exactly what everything's used for, but uh, I think you need them for like these things, redstone, blank cards. So there's there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with this one, but uh, I just don't know anything about it. Uh, power. We need an ender cell. Oh, we can't do that one because we don't have an ender core. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm guessing that's kind of how you do it, right? You put an ender eye, a tiny capacitor, and that. Here, let's try it. Let's try it. We, have, we just bought one. Uh, actually, this is going to take a while. Yeah, it's at 9%, so that's going to take a while to do. Uh, I did see a recipe for the diamond one, so it is uh, something that can be done. I just don't know uh, everything about it. Uh, let's drop that in there. All right, where are we? So we got that one started. We pretty much completed drawer. Immersive engineering. Is that the next thing on my uh, little list over here? We got this one, this one. That's uh, that's next. I <laughs> that's soon. <laughs> I just need to get all the materials for that. So can we even make this? I got paper. Where did I put the paper? I literally just made like 64 pieces of paper. 
There it is. Let's grab that too. Oh. I hate I hate how it doesn't put the items in the attached storage. Okay, so go here. We need a uh, aluminum and copper magnet. And conveniently I have some back here. So this is Aluminum, grab one of those. One of those, perfect. All right, we got one engineering plan and need more blue dye. Um, really? All right, let's go back up. Uh, I have a bunch of blue flowers. I think I think that'll work. I just don't know if I have my uh, mortar and pestle still. So it's gone. I moved everything down here. Uh, it's not in there. Let's grab that stuff. I need that. I don't know why it's there. Oh, come on. There it is. There we go. So this and that should give me blue dye, which will let me finish that. Okay. <laughs> Did it not, uh, do we not have this one unlocked yet? Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh, maybe you have to finish drawers before it'll unlock, unless there's a start here. That's the end. That goes to another, the other one. Why can't I, what am I not? I made that one. I made that one. And it's supposed to give me the blueprint for the Arc Forge. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, not sure what. Maybe we have to go, let's look at progression real quick. Um, okay, immersive engineering unlocks the extended crafting. But I don't see... I don't see anything saying you can't... Yeah, I don't see anything that says you can't do it. Well... <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I'm, I'll figure that out for next episode, and then we'll start. Uh, we'll start this. Uh, whatever, uh, immersive engineering. We'll start that one next. Uh, I think we make a large, uh, like a like a forge, <laughs> like a, a multi block forge, and some other stuff. So that'll be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. And have a great day.